weight on my feet, what works? My chest forward or my chest and butt back? back. back. Chest and butt back. So good guys that know how to scramble are gonna understand, hey, this guy's behind me, he's picking my feet up, I gotta get weight on my feet, all right? When he sits back, I don't try to beat him there. Don't try to get in this battle of I'm gonna drive into him or he's gonna, drive, he's gonna win, okay? His butt's higher than mine, he's got both feet in the mat, for the most part, or even if he's got one foot in the mat, still gonna struggle there. We're not gonna play that game and try to fight, all right? We're just gonna go to his far ankle, and we're gonna end up back in a common position. And again, a lot of this stuff's gonna feel abstract and gonna feel kinda out of position, but the more times you get there, the more you play in there, the better you're gonna feel, and the more you're gonna have those go-to positions. So, again, doesn't matter what he's passed my leg with, I'm doubling right now, he passes my leg, Float, float, float. I dive out. And one thing I talked about, but I didn't stress a lot. Some of you guys are sitting up, and this guy's leg's bent. Just relax your legs. And this leg's bent, okay? When I dive out, the purpose of me diving out, like I talked about earlier, is to pull this leg straight long enough so when I sit up, his knee is across my lap. I don't want to sit up into a bent leg. So that's one of the reasons why we dive out is to carry a ton of momentum and tension pulling this leg up. So when I pass my arm under it and sit up, see how his knees right here on my, where my belt buckle is? All right, that gives me a chance to really shorten this position up. I don't want to be way down here on his leg trying to fight towards his head. I want to sit up and kind of be cheated above his knee. Now, when we get here, all right, a lot of times this guy's going to post his outside hand, he's going to butt back into me, and he's going to lift my leg up. Because he understands that he's got to get feet in the mat and my foot in the air. Now, if I get here, probably going to get taken down. But when we get to this position enough, and I start to sit into him here, and he starts to fight his butt back, when I get right here, this is when I don't fight him into his head anymore. The hand that ducked under is going to come over the top. I'm going to find his far ankle, and then I'm going to take my knee of the free leg and just attack across his body. Right here. Back to this position. Okay? I don't keep fighting into that guy in a position that I'm probably not going to win. So the minute I sit up, and he's fighting back into me, I just go over the top to the far ankle, and this knee comes across, blocks his knee, and I push back to my leg pass finish. All right? And when we get the far ankle scrambling sequences tomorrow, you'll start threading into a lot more of this type of position stuff, and you'll realize far ankle is the way to go. If I can get to his far ankle, I can probably stop him from, from taking me down ever if I'm really committed to it. You watch a lot of freestyle European world-level wrestling, they can't roll across their backs. You watch those guys wrestle from far ankle, you'll see some amazing stuff there. All right? So he passes, I duck. He's passing, I dive and duck. Right when I start to sit up, that butt starts to come back. Right here is when I make the decision to stop trying to beat him here. Wave over the top, far ankle, okay? Free leg, knee comes all, turn 90 degrees. When I wave over the top, capture his far ankle, this knee threads across. And then I'm just blocking his knee, putting him back on his hip. I might end up here. I might not end up in that leg pass position. But what are the principles we're working for? Step one is what? What's the step, first step of beating, when a scramble? Two feet in the mat. Feet in the mat, all right? Second, we start talking about height, right? I'm in a pretty good spot. I got his foot up in the air, I got weight towards his head. Just like if I shot a single leg and split the middle. We end up here all the time. But I don't stay in here trapped, okay? I get tall, get across his body. Then your Turks are here and all that other stuff. So again, we're scrambling a, real, a little bit, but we're getting back to positions you guys are familiar with. So as I dive and duck up under that leg and he starts sitting back, over the top far ankle, knee blocks across, put him back on his hip. Again, put him in an unathletic position, which is his hip. Then we can wrestle there. Anybody need to see it again? One more time. All right? So, double leg, leg pass, dive and duck. He sits up right here. Okay? All this stuff right here that you already know. We're just getting to a position to be able to use it. Slow as you need to. Go! Nope.